Hello, Brian Hargreaves here again, and Will Unger. We're going to uh, take a step further what we did in the last segment, which is reorchestrating these odd stickings around the drums, and we're going to orchestrate them in a slightly different way. So instead of on tom toms, we're going to use the cymbals now uh, to support the sound of a cymbal. The cymbals sound great on their own, but quite often they're used, usually kind of uh, beefed up with a bass drum underneath them. So we're going to play the right hand accent on a cymbal with a bass drum added to it. Okay. Okay? Right, so. Let's try some fives. Red one, two, three, four. Ah, no. And again, don't worry. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Good. So, as you can see there, you tried to play the hi-hat, and that was a little bit tricky to try and coordinate the foot, the, the two feet. Yeah. Uh, that's something that you can try and do at home. Uh, it is quite difficult. Uh, maybe a step earlier than that, like a, a, a pre-phase to that, would be to kind of just count the crotchet pulse. So that it's not too physically complica complicated, but you're getting the essence of understanding where the pulse is, and how to reorchestrate this phrase around the drums. So there's two different, you know, two different levels of that step, if you like. Let's try it um, without the hi-hat pulls, but we're both going to count four through it. And I want you to play two bars of that five note sticking. Okay. So, one, two, two three, four. four. Right. Really I wasn't good. counting there. That's okay, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again with the seven. Right. Well, one, two, two three, three, four. Okay, good.